So on behalf of Katinka and Peter, I'd like to welcome you all here today, this beautiful and natural setting of Yurunga Reserve, to witness them exchanging their vows of marriage. Peter and Katinka have shared many nice walks along through these parklands. Therefore, it seemed only a natural choice to affirm and celebrate their love in front of all of their family and friends here. Today is a celebration. It's a celebration of love and of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are committed forever. Today I ask you to join together in celebrating and acknowledging and honouring this day and the vows that Peter and Katinka will be making to each other. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short and others are long. Some are unwritten while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in all of our stories that are sad or disappointing and others that are exciting and full of adventure. And so where does the love story of Peter and Katinka begin? Some of you may know that they initially met through a modern day e-matchmaker just under three years ago. Katinka told me that she was first attracted to Peter's optimism, his generous spirit, his love of life and his lovely singing. Katinka loves Peter's laugh, his energy and his ability to problem solve. Peter was highly drawn to Katinka's values and he said that she's a genuine person and he admires how she makes a real difference for people in complex situations. They first fell in love while sharing their first kiss. Peter said that Katinka knocked his socks off. <laughs> Katinka and Peter love spending time together dancing and talking and going for walks, planning and creating and making things. Katinka told me that Peter plays music and she <coughs> listens. Peter makes a mess and she cleans it up. <laughs> However, Peter describes it as Katinka organising while he deconstructs. <laughs> Peter loves nothing more than simply spending time together and chatting about deep and not so deep things. In the future, Katinka hopes that she and Peter will stay healthy and age gracefully together. Peter added that they would perhaps travel some more and possibly work <coughs> overseas a bit. And so you are Peter and Katinka's family and closest friends, the most important people in their lives. You're about to become the witnesses to their love and commitment to each other. From you, they will draw strength and support as you acknowledge their public demonstration of their marriage relationship. So Peter and Katinka I, Bianca Pagliagra, civil celebrant and duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of all of these witnesses, I'm to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. However, Peter and Katinka look forward to the day when all loving couples are able to marry and celebrate their love as they are doing today. And so with the understanding of what you are consenting to, I ask you both, do you come to this relationship of your own free will to love each other? And do you promise to be faithful, tender and true to each other and your marriage throughout your lifetime? I call upon the people here present to witness that I, Peter John McElrain, to take you Katinka Powell Zimney, be my lawful wedded Katinka, I offer you not the summer of my life, but the autumn brisk and vibrant. Today, tomorrow, and for all the rest of my days. I promise to stand beside you and honour and respect you. For all that you are, and will, and will become, both separately and together. Separately and together. Our, home will be a sanctuary. Our home will be a sanctuary, and a respite, respite for us, and, a respite for us. And, for and for those who we love. I promise to, I promise to, dance, with you in times of joy. Uh, to dance with you in times of joy, to lift you up in times of sadness, to lift you up in, in times of sadness. To to rejoice with you in times of health. To comfort you in times of illness. To comfort you in times of illness. I promise to turn to you for solace. I promise to turn to you for solace. For, encourage, for encouragement and inspiration. So also for encouragement and for inspiration. I promise to be faithful and true to you. I promise to be faithful to you and true to you. I promise to share with you 
I promise to share it with you. It's <laughs> laugh and affection. <laughs> Every joyous day for the rest of our lives. I call upon the people here present to witness that I, Katinka Palzini, take you, Peter John McElwain, to be my lawful wedded husband. Peter, offer you not the summer of my life, but the autumn brisk and vibrant. Today and tomorrow and all the rest of my days. I promise to stand beside you and honour and respect you for all that you are and will become, both separately and together. Our home will be a sanctuary and a respite for us and for those who we love. I promise to dance with you in times of joy, to lift you up in times of sadness, to rejoice with you in times of health, to comfort you in times of illness. I promise to turn to you to for solace, for encouragement and inspiration. I promise to be faithful and true to you, I promise to shower you with love and affection <laughs> every joyous day for the rest of our lives. And Peter, I ask you please now place a flower ring on Katinga's magic finger. <laughs> This ring marks a new beginning in your journey together, <laughs> filled with wonder, surprise, laughter, tears, celebration and joy. This re represents the vows and promises that you've willingly exchanged. This reflects the commitment those words inspire and all of your hopes and dreams for the future. The family and friends, Peter and Kantika, have declared before me and before all of you that they will live together in marriage. They've symbolised it by joining hands taking vows and by giving and receiving of the ring. By the authority granted to me by the Commonwealth of Australia, it's now my great pleasure to pronounce them husband and wife. Peter, may, you may now kiss your bride. Yeah. And family and friends, while the witnesses Annette Riley and Zita Pell come forward to sign the register, I just ask that you please remain where you are. Feel free to quietly chat amongst yourselves, but the ceremony is not over. <laughs> what would I do without your father? Drawing me in and kicking me out. Got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride. And I'm so dizzy. Yeah, thank you, family and friends. Immediately after the ceremony, Peter and Kantinka have requested a group photo just over here on the bridge. You just uh, go straight there directly after the ceremony, that would be wonderful. Peter and Kantinka, may I take this opportunity to personally extend to both you and your families my very best wishes for your happiness today and for the rest of your lives. Family and friends, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the newlyweds, Peter and Kantinka. I'm 
sailing away, my own true love. I'm sailing away in the morning. Is there something I can send you from across the sea? From the country to where? But I finally found my, my, my love. Um, so um, I, I um, thought that I would be very scientific this time. And I wrote up lots of charts, um, worked out the things that were good, um, got healthy, lost weight, um, uh, did lots of other things. And um, uh, as I say, I um, uh, decided I'd go to a, um, um, uh, uh, what's the right word? Uh, Yes, I went to e harmony, had all these lists and ticked them off and crossed them out, and then I found my ideal person, my ideal wife. Uh, uh, and uh, you do all this scientific stuff, and then you just fall in love. It was wonderful. So Katinka um, uh, came to us, it was uh, born in Australia, just spent the first five years um, um, uh, not speaking English, so very hun Hungarian. Um, and uh, so that's been a, a, an interesting journey for me to learn about um, the Hungarian ways. Um, so a year ago we bought a, a house together and um, we had um, um, uh, Tara and Jasmine living with us, sort of, for a while. <laughs> so we grew the Brady Bunch for a little while. And, um, and uh, gradually we've um, grown together definitely as, as a strong family with uh, lovely supports from our family and, and um, friends. And um, we see ourselves um, gradually retiring now. And we realise that we only have a short time together, perhaps 25 years, 30 years. <laughs> so we thought we'd better get quickly on and get married. <laughs> so I um, just want to say thank you for coming. I'll pass on to my beautiful wife to say goodbye. I'm very humbled that you've all come to um, celebrate and witness our love and our marriage together. And I really appreciate you coming all the way to um, spend this time together with us. 
Um, I wanted to have a special thank you as well to my sister and her family, Hida, her partner, Felix and Fee, for coming all the way from Perth to spend this time. <laughs> um, I want to really um, thank also my children, Benjamin and Jasmine, for walking me down the path and being there next to me, supporting me and, and welcoming me in the family. Um, I also wanted to thank all the um, dear friends who supported and helped us on the way, um, especially to my girlfriends who helped me choose a dress and accessories and my hairdresser Nancy. Um, I wanted to thank Argy for making that beautiful um, pogacha, which is a kind of Hungarian savoury dish. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Tara and Chris for making that beautiful music um, that welcomed us, so thank you for that. Um, I also wanted to thank um, all the people that helped and came here and are willing to uh, celebrate this special day for us. And people who played some music and sang songs, thank you very much for that. And I'm sure I've forgotten the rest of the English. And also Annette and Zita for being a witness. Thank you. So, um, and if I forgot to mention anybody you know that are in your heart. I don't really very much so. I also wanted to acknowledge our past relationships as well because they have made us who we are today. Um, so I just wanted to say that too. To the new Mr. and Mrs. Peter and Katina.